there you go, the highest peak. That's basically what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to summon the Martian Madness event. Except I am having no luck. <gasps> no! Yes! What well, Martians are invading now? So now I will have to defend my off. Hey guys, I wasn't ready. And there we go. Well, I'm hoping as I can get a Martian saucer. Because I am trying to get the laser minigun and then I'm going to go kill the lunatic cultist. Taste the wrath of boulders. Oh no wonder why it's test of terror. Oh no, these aren't these aren't the shield. Can I kill the stupid engineer? I'm getting electrified. There I go, after like about like two days or a day and a half. Um, I now finally are able to fight the Martians. All I'm hoping is that they summon a Martian um, saucer because that's basically what I'm trying to do this event for. It, so that means I can get me a laser minigun because I do have me a mana flower. All I just need to do is just have a bunch of mana potions and then I'll be good. Holy moly. Look at all of those turrets. And I pee on them. It sounded very weird. I really do like the Martian Madness event. It's just like a fun event. I like it. It's one of my favorites. Besides like the Pumpkin Moon. Or Frost Moon. Because those were the OG events. But still, I like the I like the Martian Madness event. It's a really good event. And I end it. I forgot about this tall, lanky boy. Sheesh, 4,000 health. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm on expert mode. Yeah, I remember yesterday I defeated Golem, so that's how I got the Staff of Earth. I'm gonna have to farm him a bit, so that means I can give me a Pixel. That's basically what I'm trying to kill him for, is the Pixel. Oh, whoa. These guys give me confusion? Oh, I hate confusion, man. It's my... It's my least favorite debuff besides the cold one. Now, who the frick is giving me that debuff though? See if only if see if only Terraria had like milk, just like Minecraft, because then you'd be able to get rid of all these stupid debuffs. It's those green guys. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot to summon these guys. I also really do like the optic staff. It's my favorite staff in the game. Well, besides like the bubbles and the stardust dragon and crap like that. Oh. I can't even freaking move because of these damn aliens. I'm so dead. Yeah. Only 7% guys. A couple more percentages to go. I also keep getting these conduit platings. I could use these for something. I just don't know what something. Thank God I got this staff of... Thank God I got this scourge of the corruptor. Because without it I probably wouldn't have been dead tons more times. Cause seriously, this tactical shotgun ain't doing, ain't doing jack. I 
Well, it does do a lot of damage, but really, it's just it's not really that good. I wonder when is this percentages of the Martian saucer spawning? Okay, that's it. I'm going to my little safety hole. This is basically what I do. I grab my horseman's blade and then I just keep spamming it. Then a bunch of bunch of pumpkins are going to spawn in and hopefully killing them all. This is basically kind of like a cheat, the cheat way. This is also kind of how I'm going to probably kill the Moon Lord. And there you go, I did that for a little while. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of aliens. I wonder, how are your guys' days going? Tell me in the comments below, is it going bad or is it going good? I'm just wanted to, I just want to see. Because really, and, yeah. I just want to see how you guys are doing. The amount of electrical turrets, man. It's crazy. <laughs> I just saw my clothier just start killing one of the aliens. I didn't even know they could do that. I always keep thinking that the freaking hollow is over there, but it's not. I always keep thinking about that. Alright, I need to switch up my ding thingies. Con couldn't contain the wall the watts. The watts. Never heard that one before. 15% Wait, did they seriously Oh, thank god I thought they just ran away Like, are you serious? I did all that just for them to run away Thank god they didn't Alright, now it's time to go in full attack mode Since you got this sack from Planteras It is actually really good Cause, like, I remember I tested it out on my, on the, on my other expert mode world and it is actually really, really amazing. It is like an equipment that I think you should have. Because it is really good. And also, thank goodness, too, I got this arena. I built this when I was, like, barely showing my expert mode world. When I was, um, finding the Ayaka So, yeah. Just dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Great grunt. This is basically my way of defeating the Martian Madness event. Just keep going back and forth, and they'll practically never hit you. Except when they're up here on the platforms. Ooh! Get in! The, get in! And ah, okay. I didn't. Know, oh, I didn't know the rockets were still gonna hit me. I'm hoping she. I'm hoping she spawns back in again. I know the event's not gone. As soon as I spawn in, just go up there. There we go. See. Alright, I'm just gonna have my mini map out just in case, just so I can find that stupid saucer. Just for now, I'll just have to kill a bunch of these guys. Ooh. I also keep forgetting to summon my optic staffs, guys. And also those Martian drones, man, they keep hitting me. I remember I got hit by two of them at the start of this event. T 
taste the wrath of boulders. I didn't think that would actually work out that good. See, mostly the only reason why I have a sky base is because mostly a ton of these aliens start spawning in. Oh, and there's the big mama. Why don't you have to come inside my house? This isn't my house. Actually, this is my house. Don't come in my house. Thank you. I appreciate it, big mama saucer. Well, now that's not actually her name, but I'm just gonna call her that. Because I don't really give a crap. Come on, other twin. I need you both to be fighting here. I don't need one of you going after one of the licky boys. I got the licky boys. Okay, well, actually, doing pretty dang good. Mostly, this is my tactic. Just span the skirts of the corruptor. See, this is why I wish I kind of had the, the the possessed hatchet because then I'll just have to do is just toss it outside quickly, go back inside, and then like do rinse and repeat. Except I didn't get that. I got the stupid staff of Earth. So yeah, that's why I didn't really get it. If I did get it, I'd be doing that tactic right now. And also, thank goodness for the plantera spores too, because these things are actually just homing in. Rather slowly, sadly. But when she gets in the middle, ooh, those things do a lot of damage. Now here she goes, she's going into the second phase, she's going all loopy. See, this is where, I remember on my other expert mode world, this is where I mostly died a lot. Because all she just does is goes back and forth. Oh, oops. Because all she does is just goes back and forth. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, grab a hook so long as I won't get hit. Also, since I have that golem charm too, that means I won't be dying as much. All I have to do is just stand still and then my health regens. Which, that's what I like about the expert mode. It's ex about expert mode. Is that, um... It gives you tons of new items, including an extra accessory slot if you beat the Wall of Flesh, which I love about that. If only they gave you that in normal mode, because you actually need the extra accessory slot, because really, it comes in gigantic handy. No, Coraline was slain. I believe that was my, um, my dryad. Aww, Lunar Hook. I don't want that. Aww. I like it how the, I like it how the Martian Saucer actually gets her own death line, like the Martian Saucer has been defeated. How come then the other mini bosses get that? Only the Martian Saucer? She's special or something? I really gotta get better at dodging. I'm mostly really good at dodging in Minecraft, but not at Terraria. Tesla turrets, man. These things. Oh. We're almost 40%. We're almost halfway. I don't want it to be halfway. I want to fight another saucer. Because then I can actually. I'm hoping I can actually get what I want. Oh. I thank God I've spawned. I died right next to my house. Yeah, this is my ugly. This is my ugly excuse for a house. I know, it looks good to me. Seriously, that cobblestone and dirt place is where my original house started. But now I grew to this. And I like it, because this is how my house is going to be forever. Unless I, like, upgrade it more. Then, yeah. So, yeah, I'm hoping I can get me a laser minigun. If not, like, um, like the upgrade to the Excalibur. I mean, true Excalibur. No, not Excalibur. No, what what the heck was it? I forgot what it was. Terrorblade, yeah, Terrorblade. I want to either get the laser minigun or that upgrade for the Terrorblade. Or that rocket launcher, because that's also pretty cool, too. See, this is why this is why I have a floating house because all I just gotta do is just do this. See, there's like a bottom platform down here, which allows me to attack the enemies. It's not really that good right now. It's mostly because of all the aliens that are hitting me, but it it, it does its works. It does its works. <laughs> this 
Did anyone see that turret just face plant into the ground? I'm trying to fix the camera view so that means you guys can at least get a somewhat of a view. Almost halfway there. Can I know the March and Salsa spawn in already? I need I need the tings. Aha! Another March and Salsa. I just quickly go into the house. And then just do it all over again. Yeah, I'll even spawn the twins in so you can help. I like the twins pet. It's one of my favorite pets in the game. But besides the end game pets, but really I like these ones the most. Because they're so adorable, I like them. Mm. Now, Martian Saucer, Big Mama Saucer, can you please drop me what I actually want, please? Sometimes I won't have to kill your kind again. Please. I don't know. If, I don't know if she's saying yes or no, but I'm have a feeling it's a maybe. She's probably gonna say no though. This is actually a decent strat here. Like with the with the crimson, the vampire knives are actually really good too because that's an easy and quick way to get some health. Except they're not really as good anymore. Ever since ever since the um nerf for them, it, they they're not really that good anymore. I don't know, probably some people still use them, but, uh, I kind of use them sometimes. Oh, dang, here she goes. She's going into full hyperdrive mode. And this is why the spores were created. So that means they can, so that means they can stand in the big mama's way and just hit her. This is why I like the spores a lot, because really, even though they're, even though they're slow, they do a lot of damage. Simon's is always really good to at least have these things. If you're playing expert mode. If you're playing normal mode, then you can't even get these. You can't even get any of the expert mode items. Also, the only reason why I'm not live streaming is because I need to at least have a thousand subscribers. And there is no way I'm going to get to that. I would live stream, but... Nah, YouTube came out with this stupid rule. I don't really like it. That means I can't even do what I want to do, which is live stream. Xeno Popper. Eh, it's kind of good. Now I can add that to my gun collection. I always like a new gun. And now immediately, a uh, Martian Sauce already spawned in again. See, this is why you gotta be quick whenever you're finding these dang things. Is that you always gotta quickly go and get your loot, and then quickly go back wherever you're hiding. Oh yeah, this uh, vanity set I'm wearing now is the crow set. I got this from the Plantera's um, treasure bag. It's a pretty dang cool set. I don't know if the wings are better than leaf wings, but hey, considering that they're that they're from the Plantera bag, I just got what I wanted. And also, Plantera finding finding her once is enough for me, especially with especially with all. Uh, but yeah, finding Plantera once is just enough for me. I'll fight her again once I need to, back at, like, at Endgame. Speaking of Endgame, I actually need to kill Moonlord two times so I have to get the full um, set of armor, I believe. Once I do, I'm going to get Nebula. Because really, um, that's really good. If not, either Solar. I know, one or the other. Or I could just create them all. That's another thing I could do. Now here she goes. She's going into full hyperdrive mode again. I just like how one of the twins are helping me and the other one is just going to killing all the aliens. Well, well it keeps the event going. Alright, once I'm done killing this big mama, I'm going to have to get all, all, all of my loot. And then, um, <clears throat> and then quickly go back inside my house. Uh oh, nope, I'm not dying yet. I accidentally grabbed both hook like a dang idiot. Thank goodness I didn't get hit by the lasers. Or the laser. It's just one gigantic laser. I 
I wonder who is controlling the big mama ship. Or is it just the mama ship itself? Is it like controlling itself? That's some lore I don't think I get answered. Laser arm cannon. Laser arm cannon. It's not what I wanted. Seriously, man, I am getting everything that I don't want from this event. Oh, well, at least I got a cool Xeno Popper. It does better than the gun I have. Oh, sheesh. There's no I'm a saucer. No, real quick. I'm going to have to mark this one as my favorite. Please give me the freaking laser minigun. I need it. And I have to cut this video a little bit short, guys. Right. Bye. Love you guys. Hope to see you guys later.